the times when you do a lot of theater and then you, you're asked to come in for an audition for a film and uh, they go, okay, could you? Yeah, just, uh, that's a lot of voice you've got there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you do have a lot of voice. You know, well, that's, 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 uh, that's not a big thing anymore really because, you know, um, voice work in, in the business has uh, degraded so immensely, it's mm -hmm. ridiculous. Uh, how do you mean? People, people no, I, I, one of my actors called me a Stalin of voice. Mm. Um, I'm really, really particular on voice and, and vocal production and mm. what you have to do on a daily basis to mm. maintain that. Mm -hmm. um, but that's the kids coming out of theater school they don't. They, they they don't have that, the the strength of voice, the understanding of voice. Uh, you know, I hear people say, "Oh, we have voice classes twice a week," and I go, "So that's Monday, Tuesday. So what happens the rest of the week, mm. right?" Uh, voice is it, it's not it's not a thing anymore. Uh, Royal Manitoba Theatre Center. I was doing the Humans there last. Uh, oh gosh, my, my February a year ago February, and. Um, they just installed a quarter of a million dollar sound augmentation system over the main deck. Right. Which means you don't actually have to have strength of voice. They can adjust the computer profile. Now, is that actor or is that because there is something happening where audience or something happening where audiences want the performances to be more filmic? Well, I don't know if they want it to be more filmic. I do think that you put um, you put weaker voices on stage and poorer hearing in the audience, mm. and you've got a bridge that is mm -hmm. <laughs> means somebody doesn't want to spend seventy nine dollars on a ticket next time, mm -hmm. right? So it's, it's it's something that just has to be handled. But but I'm not even talking about like trying to fill an eight hundred seat house. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. there's so many people who can't do that anyway. I'm talking about going to a theater school and going, I'm sorry, I'm 20 feet from you mm. and I can't hear what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I'm 20 feet from you and if I can hear what you're saying, consonants give meaning to the English language and there hasn't been a consonant come out of your mouth for the last three speeches. Mm. So if you can't be clear, if you can't be understood, then that's a problem. Now that could be just, you know, generational. That's fine. Because try as I might, and I have tried so hard mm -hmm. to listen to rap and just understand the oh, freaking don't lyrics. Don't go into the rap. Oh, no, no, I, no, I just, oh, man. no, no, I, I love it. I love the beat. I, I'm mm -hmm. there, but I'm not a clue what, what's being said. You see, I, I do not know. And, mm -hmm. and, and the people, Luke and, and Mike in my office, they're singing along and I'm like, mm -hmm. how do you know that? Right? You know, <laughs> one day I'm going to feel the way you do and I'll know that I'm an old person. That's yeah. all I'm saying. All right. I, I, I just, know. I love it, but I can't understand it. I except know. for like one phrase that gets repeated a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and it's filth. It's just, it's filth. It's disgusting. Up in here. Up in here. Okay, I got that line. Yeah. Hey, well, you Brutal, know, man. we're not even talking about Jamaican dance hall. We're both yeah. Jamaican heritage. Come on, man. Yeah, no, none of that. I, I don't understand. Listen, I listened to, I listened to the Soka show on, on, on uh, G987. Mm -hmm. And I listened to all the, the shows there. And like, I'm like, okay, whining, dining, <laughs> and other words that I don't know. <laughs> that's yeah, that's it, so. right? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Stevie Wonder? I Prince don't know. I don't know. <laughs> even uh, Prince, damn it. Oh, God, don't even talk to me yeah, about Prince. That's he had elocution. Hell yeah.